Hello, I'm Dr. Brant Gibson, and tonight I want to talk to you about heavy metal toxicity or heavy metal peripheral neuropathy. And with heavy metal toxicity, you can actually get um, poisoning from several of the metals, many of the metals. The most common in the human are lead, mercury, arsenic, and cadmium. That being said, there are other metals that also can cause symptoms and cause heavy metal toxicity. Um, although we don't often test for those as much because they're not as common. You can get an aluminum poisoning. You can get a nickel poisoning. You can get a phosphorus poisoning, platinum poisoning, uh, silver poisoning, thallium poisoning, tin poisoning. So, so you can see there's a lot of, any of these heavy metals can actually cause problems. The big issue is which of these cause peripheral neuropathy. And like I said, the most common being lead, mercury, arsenic, um, and cadmium. But the important part is to understand if you've got a heavy metal poisoning, if you've got some of these symptoms that are happening with heavy metals, then a lot of times you need to do something to remove the toxicity. There are multiple different ways that you can do that. You can change the way you eat. So you can actually remove some of the poisoning through uh, a, going through a detox program. The Seven Systems Plan, for example, has a detox program that you can actually use. You can go through a detox in through some of the herbal type products that can actually be used to detox as well. You can also do certain vitamins that have been very effective at removing the heavy metals. And these vitamins, I'm going to go through quickly just to make sure you, we mention them, um, include selenium, which is good for mercury. you got vitamin C that does a really good job of free radical removal and lead level decrease. You've got folic acid, which removes the cadmium and mercury from the blood. And you've got alpha lipoic acid, which is recommended in the removal of cadmium and copper. Even though copper we didn't really mention is one of the more, more common ones we look at. Glutathione, which does a good job of lead, cadmium, and copper. And then garlic, which is a good chelator. And it does a pretty good job of lowering lead levels as well. So the idea, there are vitamins you can use to detox. There are um, eating programs that you can do to detox. And there are a lot of different options. And so my recommendation is that you just do what you can to eliminate the toxicity. But the best thing to do first is to test it. This can be done either through blood tests or urine tests to determine if you have a toxic level of any of these vitamins. This is Dr. Brant Gibson, and this is your Neuropathy Nugget Day 241. The truth about toxic peripheral neuropathy and heavy metal toxicity. This is Dr. Brant Gibson. Have a great rest of your night.